Hi there, this is Padma from Libertat. Uh, today I want to talk to you about, uh, give you a very basic introductory idea to developing a content plan. Um, so we've talked previously about how um, content migration, not brilliant idea, uh, content audit helps you to understand what your users care about on your current sites. So how do you turn that into a content plan? Um, well, Initially, we, we, from the content audit, we should have a set of user stories that articulate the user needs uh, that your users currently care about based on the traffic coming to your site. Uh, it's probably quite a small number of user needs um, and uh, you, can, you can sort of investigate that further. But in terms of what users are doing on your existing website, uh, you can get a sense of, well, these are the main user needs that our organization is currently meeting. Um, then you might want to look at um, if you've got a helpline uh, or kind of uh, email inbox for um, requests you know for information you can uh, you can like look at that and get the data from that see what people care about um, in your sector you can look at like online forums or Facebook groups or you know where, wherever people are discussing things that you uh, as an organization do you can look at that and just see what people care about, see what people are talking about, see what language people are using. Um, and then, you know, you can do user research and, and go out and, and get more of a sense. Um, but just as a kind of a, a beginning, taking the content order that you've done, looking at the user stories that came out of that, you can now make the, the beginnings of your content plan. So a content plan, you, you can use a new spreadsheet, uh, take the user stories from your old content audit, put them into your new spreadsheet as a list of user needs. And then you can think about, okay, so these are the needs we're trying to meet, how do we best meet them? Um, so you can think in terms of content formats, you know, like is this best served by a tool or a video or a page of uh, like a how-to guide or a news item or, you know, like what's the best way of meeting this kind of need. Uh, so then you, you have a column in your spreadsheet of the content formats. Uh, and then you might want to think about, okay, so based on what we know about uh, what users are interested in, what they're searching for, what they're talking about in forums and so on and so on, what language are they using? So what might our new page titles be or our new the names of our new online service or, or whatever it is? Um, so then you've got uh, an initial um, uh, page title for instance uh, and then from there you can start thinking about well what what would it take to meet these this need you know what needs to be in the content to meet this need and you might need to go and talk to a subject matter expert elsewhere in the organization to uh, answer that question but um, yeah basically we're, we're, what we're trying to do is gather the acceptance criteria so need is met when the user can bullet point bullet point bullet point and those bullet points quite often help you sketch out the structure of your page or the st structure of the thing that you're trying to do um, and then you know from there you've you've got a basic uh, sense of how you might approach your new site um, obviously there's a lot more to it than that in, in terms of being robust and being thorough and so on but this is just to give you an introduction to uh, uh, taking uh, an old kind of subject area based site and turning it into a user needs based site. So hope that's useful. Thank you very much.